launched on September 13, the MA-4 flight was to fly one orbit before the re-entry procedure was to be initiated near the command control station in West Mexico. Inside the Mercury Control Center, the flight director managed the flight and the network operation. The Bermuda Center verified the trajectory. The tracking and acquisition facilities of Tagus were functioning as programmed. One test objective was met early in the flight. The ability of the Atlas to release the spacecraft into proper orbit. As the spacecraft successfully completed the turnaround and was flying in the orbital attitude, Mercury control personnel observed the various systems data and verified that all systems were go. The spacecraft communicator was in direct voice contact with the tape recorders aboard the flight vehicle. As the spacecraft, with its crewman simulator, passed over Africa just 17 minutes after liftoff, all systems were go. The environmental control systems console registered cabin and suit pressures and oxygen consumption data. 62 minutes after launch, the spacecraft, traveling at more than 17,000 miles per hour, passed over the Australian tracking stations. The onboard timer commanded retro fire at T plus 89 minutes as the spacecraft approached the west coast. The re-entry procedure was initiated and the spacecraft encountered the Earth's atmosphere approximately 300 miles east of Savannah, Georgia. The probable impact point indicator operates on separate individual electrical circuits by the Goddard computers. One hour and 49 minutes after launch, spacecraft 8A landed in the programmed landing area 200 miles east of Bermuda.